In the olden times in India, listening, memory and wisdom are deeply interconnected. There is a term called Bahu Shrota, which means one who has listened to many. And this term is actually a term used for a wise person or a jnani. One who has listened to many is considered a wise person. Not only this, the process of learning in fact involved in the early years primarily the act of listening and repeating, listening and repeating, listening and repeating until something was deeply memorized. Memorized enough to be able to say it out. Kantastha, a term which conveyed that it was right there by listening in the memory and could be repeated. I remember when I had started learning to play the violin, I would sit down, place the instrument like it is played in South India and I would keep my book from which my teacher had taught me the notes. I would place the book on the floor, look into it and play. And my grandfather would say, no, say out the notes, learn them by heart and only then start to play on the violin. Bahu Shrota, one who listened to many, listened and remembered. In fact, in the ancient times, literature itself was composed, keeping in mind that it is mostly going to be heard rather than read. The deep significance of listening and of listening to literature has been nicely conveyed through these terms. Bahu Shrota. Like, share and subscribe.